In this Shopify tutorial for beginners, I show you how to create this e-commerce store using Shopify and you don't need to know anything about programming or coding to create this e-commerce store. You can you literally use the drag and drop feature of Shopify to create this beautiful and professional looking e-commerce store. And as you can see, this is a functioning store that I have created in minutes. And as you can see right now, you can actually add items to the card and then check out if you want to already add a one. So there are two items in my card. You can check out and just fill in the information. And there's a, by default, there's a PayPal Express checkout that you can use that's built in Shopify. So you can have this website up and running in minutes. So if you're interested in creating your e-commerce store using Shopify, stick around for the next few minutes because we're going to create our very first e-commerce store using Shopify. Let's get started. The first step in creating your Shopify store is to actually register for Shopify. I leave a link in the description below and as you can see, using this affiliate link, you will get the first three months will cost you only $1 per month. So put in your actual email and click on start free trial. So now we got a little bit of survey here said, let's get started. Which of these best describe you? I'm just starting and click next. And this would be an online store. Click next. And we can actually skip it for now, but I'm just going to select products I buy or make myself. If you want to do drop shipping or if you want to do print on demand, you can just select it, digital products, or you can select products I buy or make myself and then click next. And now what would you like to name your store? Just, this is optional. Just put a name for your store and then click next. And your country, I'm currently based in Australia. It depends where you base that. Put in the country and click next. Okay, create a Shopify ID. One last step before we start. So what sort of registration you want to use? I'm going to use the email, continue with email, and I'm going to put in my email and a password here. Okay. Let's see. Create. Shopify ID and now it starts building your site. Now we get to the dashboard of our Shopify store. This is where we made all the changes, adding the products, collections, images, and things like that. So after you logged into your Shopify store, the first step is to set up a theme or a look for your site. And in order to add a new theme, go to this online store. And there is a theme option. Click on themes. Okay, once you're in the theme sections, you can see that Shopify is providing a few free themes that you can use for your site. I am for this website that I already shown you here, this website that I have just created, I'm using this theme called Dawn. So this is the actual default theme. So I'm going to use this one, the Dawn. But if you want to change it to other themes, if you want to pay for the themes, that's completely fine. But if you want to use free themes for the start, you can actually choose the theme that you want, click on add, and it will be added to your site. And the good thing about the themes are they don't actually change the functionality of the site. It just changed the look of it. So you can change it at any time you want. So after you selected the theme, click on customize. This is where we can edit and add features and content to our Shopify store. As you can see, it starts with a header. There is a template that we can add blocks and sections to it, and it ends with footer. You can also make sure your website is responsive by clicking this button and changing to mobile view. So you can see your changes are user friendly and responsive as well on mobiles as well. So this is the end result. You can see I've got this home image. Scrolls down, I added this collection section and there is a featured product as well. So I'll start with this logo here. So I'm going to add this logo to my site. And in order to add a logo, click on header 
and there is a theme settings. Click on theme settings and here we can add the logo. And in order to add logo, I use this free tool called Canva. So I have created this logo. It took me literally like five minutes to create it. I leave a link in the description below to Canva. If you want to use Canva, it's a free tool. Also have a video on how to use Canva to create free logo. I leave a link in the description below to that video as well. I set the dimensions to 200 pixels by 200 pixels. So this is the end result. And I'm going to download this logo and just simply drag it and drop it here. Now let me just drop the logo here. Now it's uploading the logo. So the logo is now uploaded and as you can see, it is added here. So after you made the changes, make sure to save the changes so you don't lose the changes that you made. If you like this video so far, I really appreciate if you tap that like button so more people can actually watch this Shopify tutorial for beginners and learn how to create an e-commerce store using Shopify. So if we check the website, you can see we added this logo. Now we need to add this image to the home page. So in order to add this image, you can see this is the part where we need to add this image. So just click on this section and it automatically brings this image section for you. Now I have downloaded this image using pixels. So this is the actual photo. I'm going to drag it and simply drop it here. Now it's uploading my home image to my Shopify store as well. Okay. So the image is now added to my home page. Let me just save these changes as well. So I have added the logo and the home image. Now we can change the text if you want to. You can just select the text and just change it here. Browse our latest, pro latest products. I'm happy with that. Now there's a button here as well. Okay. And the button is now linked to all the products. If you want to change it, simply click it and then change it to collections, pages, blogs, or wherever you want to link it to. But I think products is enough so i'm just going to leave it as products and the next section if we go back to the website you can see the next section is collection so we are going to add a collection to our site so in order to add this collection so we can we got this collection section men and women so we need to go back go back to the home page so if you hover over any part it brings you this that specific part as well so you can see if i go to the image banner it brings the image banner if i go to the header it brings a header and an announcement and things like that it's such an easy tool to create e-commerce store man it's such a great tool so i'm going to add a new block here between this actual image and this featured product so i'm going to add a new section okay and i need a collection list we already got featured collection we just need a collection list so a new collection is, is added and it is under featured products. So I'm going to just drag it and drop it here. So it is above the featured product as well. Now, in order to make changes on it, simply click on it and it shows you the number of columns on desktop. Here I have two columns, right? So I'm going to reduce it to two instead of three. So I'm going to have two columns here. And as you can see, I've got two columns right now. Okay, let me scroll down. So I still got one more item here. I want to get rid of it. So if you want to get rid of any item, just click it. Okay. And click on this remove button. And now I have two items. Okay. So I have two empty collections. Now I need to add items to these collections. And in order to do it, you can simply click on the collections, select collections, and then create it from here. Or you can exit. Let me just save the changes before I exit. So I don't lose the changes. So I've saved the changes. Now click on exit to go to the main menu. Okay. Once you are in the home dashboard, click on products. And now from this section, select collections. As you can see, we already have a home page collection. We just don't need it. So I'm going to select it and then delete collection. I don't need it. I'm going to add my own collections. So now i'm going to add the collections so in order to create a collection click on create collection and put a title for it i'm going to put in men and the description i'm just going to put in men for now you can put your own description if you want to now we need to add an image to our collection already download an image from pixels 
So I'm just going to drag it and simply drop it here. So, and this collection type, I'm going to select on manual because I'm going to manually add items to this collection. After you make the changes, save the changes, and the same way you recreate a collection for women. So I have added these two collections to my collection list. Now let's go back to our homepage. And now you can see our collections is empty. So select the collection. And from the select collections, you can see that we have two items, men and women. So I'm going to select men for the first one. And then click on select. And for the right one, I'm going to use select collection and women. Make sure to select it. And now you can see these two collections are added to my home page. Now save the changes and let's just scroll down. So we have created the collections and now we need products for our collections. So for this featured products, we don't have any products. So we need to add products to our collections. In order to add products, simply select this. If you would like to change this heading, you can just change it to whatever you want. New products, feature products, or whatever you want to call it. And then we need to go back to our home page. So you can exit it from here, but already have it on a separate tab. So I'm going to go here and in this home section, in this home page, you got products. So click on products and now we need to add products. So we don't have any products set yet. So in order to add a new product, click on add your product. And now we need to put in title and description. So if I go to the actual end result, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to add this product to my page. So the title would be a golden black analog watch with gray letter band and description. You can just put in the same district. You can just put in whatever you want. I'm just going to put in this description and the heading. I'll probably put in heading four. It's just two heading, let's say three. Okay. So I've got a title and description. Now we need to add media. So the image of the actual product. So in order to add the products, I have downloaded this product from Pixel as well. I'm just going to drag it and drop it here. So I also have an image for it. Product category, just put in your product in this category with a category that fits in. And then make sure to set the collection because this is be this is going to be in that specific collection. So in this case, this is going to be women. I'm going to select women. The pricing, I'm going to put in the price one. $145, whatever you want to set it. And let me scroll down. Shop location, you can the quantity as well. Just put in how many you got in stock. 100, 200, how many you got it. I set the price, the quantities. And you can check this box. Continue sending when out of stock. You can just check it if you want to. And if this product have SK, SKU barcode, you can tick that as well set the actual weight of the product i don't know how long how big the product is how and i'm going to set 0.1 and the variant if it has variant and that's pretty much it now let's save the product and the same way you can add other products like this one so if i go to the product page this is the only product i've added i'm going to add three other products like this and come back again so i have added the other products as well and now let's go back to our theme customization one more time and add these products to the home page as well. So we, here we got the featured products. And as you can see, all those products are automatically are getting added to this section as well. So all these images and products are auto populated because by default, once you click on featured collection and you scroll down, you can see the collection is set to all. So it is basically bringing all the connections that we already have, like the men and women. So if you just want to show the men, you can just select men. If you just want to show women, it would show the women or other collections that you have created. And our website is pretty much ready. Now let's look at our website and see how it actually looks in the browser. So in order to see your website, click on this one and click on view. Okay, so our website is ready. And as you can see, it takes you literally a few minutes to have a proper functioning e-commerce store up and running using Shopify. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see we have this email subscription that we are not going to use for now. And we probably, for e-commerce store, we need some 
terms of service refund policies and things like that that we need to add it to our site so let's go ahead and add those terms and services to our website as well so go back to the home dashboard and click on settings now once you're here you need to scroll down to policies select policies and now we bring up all the policies for the site and the good thing about it is all these policies are templates that are ready and what you need to do you need to, you can use chat gpt to create it if you want but you can use these templates create from the template and it will automatically create it go through this go through this actual template just read it and change the parts that you need to change and the same way for the privacy policies create it scroll down okay now terms of service create it you just need to change a couple of sentences probably for your business you don't need to change the whole content and shipping policy you need to add your shipping shipping policy as well contact information and after all these templates are ready you need to save the changes okay after all those policies are saved go back to the home page of your dashboard now click on online store and now select navigation okay now we need to add those menu items to our home page and in order to do it you can see we have two menu items the footer menu which is a search and the main menu that we got it at the top of our website okay I'm gonna keep these two and I'm gonna add the menu as well so click on add menu and from here add menu item so from the links just tap on the links and you can see it gives you the options for policies select policies and now I'm gonna add privacy policy okay add it and one more menu item add menu item link policies and I'm gonna add the refund it's the same way you can add other terms of services and as and other menu items as well so I'm gonna add refund policy as well add it so I have two items added to my home page now save the menu so we need the title for it footer terms I'm gonna call it footer terms okay and save the menu okay so the menu is now created for our website so if we go back to our website and refresh the page scroll down you can see that the menu item is not added because we just created a menu but we didn't add it so in order to add it go back to your the theme customization page click on footer and now we have actually two options if you scroll down you see there's a checkbox says show policy links if you show all the links if you want to show all the links simple as that now if a ticket you can see all the links are added down the bottom okay but if you want to sh show the items on the menu what you need to do you can add a block okay and menu sorry I will, sorry I need to get rid of the brand okay add a block menu and now here we got quick links click on quick links and now you can see we have this footer menu you need to change it change the menu and now we have already three menus and the one we're going to use is footer terms that we just created so click on that it shows you the two items that I added to my menu okay now let me select it okay save the changes and let me hide this email as well so in order to hide the email go to the footer and uncheck show email sign up I don't need it so the footer of my page will be the privacy policy and the refund policy now let me save the changes and if I go back to the actual website refresh the page let me scroll down you can see those items are added to the footer of my website okay the same way you can change the main menu item at the top of the page as well so you need to go to navigation and select the main menu and change it the way you want if you want to add more items if you want to add products I don't know search pages blogs whatever you want to add you can simply add it to the main menu and will be added to the main menu on the top or if you want to get rid of any of the items you can get rid of it as well okay okay now we got our website up and running and it looks good 
it's time to get paid okay so we need to set up the payment for our website and in order to set the payments click on settings and now click on payments okay now you have a couple of options Shopify payments if you want to activate this one you can just activate Shopify payments and just go through that process and complete the setup and that will be set up for your store if you want to use the PayPal that's completely fine if you want to get rid of it go to manage and just deactivate PayPal Express checkout if you don't want to use PayPal if you want to use other options you can add other payment methods and now just search by method and it gives you a lot of options to choose from and add it to your Shopify store so this is how you can actually integrate the payments for your e-commerce store in Shopify now let's go to the shipping of the products if you have an online digital course or digital product you can you don't need any shipping but if you have a physical product you what you need to do you need to go to the shipping and delivery and here you have general profile and a custom shipping pro rates so if you want to create a custom profile and different for different zones you can just create a profile and create zones but I'm going to use the general one so click on manage and now you can see that we have shipping regions right now I'm based in Australia so the domestic you can edit the prices for Express standard you can simply just add a new rate if you want or edit it okay for Express is already set to 15 you can decrease or increase it and change it to different custom rates as well if you want to and save it and for the international rates what you can do you can actually add a rate for different zones and different countries and set a rate for that as well now you may be wondering what would be the name or the URL of your site and in order to find the URL go to this domain section and you can see this is my URL of the site. this is the URL of my current website okay so if I want to open up the page I can just open the new tab and just paste it here and this is my site so the URL it doesn't really look professional for an e-commerce store you need to create a domain name for that so in order to do it you have two options you can either buy the domain name through Shopify which is slightly more expensive or you can buy it through providers like name I have used name silo which is I think is really good perfect prices and it's cheaper than Shopify if you want to buy it. I'll leave a link in the description below to name silo. Go check it out. You can use other name namespace providers like Namecheap and GoDaddy and things like that. But I'm using name silo for such a long time and I'm pretty happy with the service. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to get it. And then you can connect that namespace to this domain name or you can buy it through Shopify. And that's pretty much it for this video. And this is the end result of our current e-commerce store i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did i appreciate if you tap the like button so more people can actually watch this video and learn how to create a shopify store and start their e-commerce business if you have not subscribed subscribe and tap that little bell so you don't miss out the next video thank you for watching and see you next time